Kai West's X trilogy comes to a close in Maxine, a phenomenal horror movie that's not only the best of the trilogy, but also one of the best horror movies of the 2020s. Maxine is an 80s inspired slasher starring Mia Goth as Maxine Minx, the actress from the first X film who is now moving into Hollywood trying to become a star. X was a great 70s Texas Chainsaw Massacre style horror film that was brutal, bloody, and intense. Then we turned back to a Technicolor nightmare in Pearl, which was the prequel also starring Mia Goth as a younger version of Pearl, a woman desperately trying to become a star, seeing the trend here, and who eventually goes crazy and murders a bunch of people because she gets rejected from her acting gig. Now, X and Pearl were both pretty good. I'm not a huge horror guy, so I didn't totally love them, but Maxine really kicked it up a notch. Maybe the difference was that I got to see this in a theater this time around rather than X and Pearl, which were smaller releases that I wasn't able to get around to. But I think that Ty West is operating at his most ambitious here. If you're familiar with the new David Gordon Green directed Halloween trilogy, you might be familiar with Halloween Ends, which was weird and a huge departure from the series that took a bunch of swings that I personally loved. Ty West writes, directs, and edits this, and it is so much more cinematic than before that it truly feels like a blockbuster horror film that we're looking for now that the Scream reboot has sort of shifted to the side. Here, as Maxine tries to become a star, she's plagued by a new killer, the Night Stalker, who begins killing off people around the town, leaving her to fight for her survival. Along the way, Kevin Bacon stars as a private investigator who is working for the Night Stalker and trying to get Maxine to confess to her involvement in the murders that took place in X. There's so many great editing techniques and shots that sort of blew my mind. It's just a film that looks incredible in addition to bringing up some good kills and having a satisfying ending. The third act is something that's caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people hate it and I personally loved it. If you've seen X, you will really like it because it really ties in together the events of that film. If you haven't seen X like my brother had it, you're probably going to be confused because you really have to see it for the ending to make sense. Mia Goth, as usual, is incredible. This is probably her best performance of the series. She's joined alongside a great cast, including John Carlo Esposito, who's finally not playing the same quiet, spoken, conniving villain like he did in Breaking Bad, alongside Kevin Bacon and Elizabeth Debicki, all of who are incredible. The thing I enjoy about the series a lot is the way that West is able to very perfectly encapsulate the vibes of these films in the time that they're trying to replicate. He's done a great job with the theming of all three, and I think this one is his best. It's grungy and exciting and gross, but thrilling. Some of the criticisms I have is that Maxine isn't a great character. A lot of the characters are just frustrating to watch here. I mean, it makes sense because it's a horror, but at the same time, it abandons some of the realism in an attempt to make things seem a lot meaner than they are, and sometimes it doesn't really work. This is a phenomenally produced horror movie with great editing choices and fan a fantastic look. It's something that really sticks out in my mind and something I'll be thinking about for a while. I'm gonna give Maxine a nine out of 10. It's truly one of my favorite slashers in a long time. Something I look forward to checking out in a the theater again. And if you are a horror fan, something that you should check out as well. So while still in theaters, be sure to check out Maxine. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay movie fans.